Okay, this is screencast number three. We're looking at Blocks app. Um, we've looked at an overview and also we've just looked at how to get going put, at putting blocks and bricks within them. Um, and we've created uh, this uh, site so far, um, which consists as a header, some body sections. You add extra blocks here by clicking pluses. This will add you know, one in between or, or one underneath. So you've got those pluses where you can add extra blocks and put them on here. You can have blank blocks or you can have ones that have a little bit more on the. It, once you've got that, you can actually get rid of blocks by just clicking here and deleting them. Um, you know, blocks can be have their colors change over here uh, for different colors. So you can come along here and change them. You always need to change them by creating new swatches once you've made a, a selection up here. Uh, make sure you also, um, with each of the blocks, I'll just click done here. You name um, the, the, the blocks so you know what to attach them to. So here, you know, I'll just call this three image block. And that's useful because later on you might want to put anchors on there to um, have um, some navigation where you click and say go to if you're doing a one page website. Okay, so that's how you would do that. It does give you some functionality so you can go into say uh, the preview mode and you can take a look at it. But sometimes it doesn't give its total functionality at, at present. It doesn't give you um, an option to sort of preview in the browser. I think that's on its way. So I'll just go back up here and, and you know, turn that off and come back in. Right, so I've just laid up a little bit of a, a website on here and I've made sure I've saved it. Say for example, we now want to output that. It'll output it as HTML um, with some JavaScript um, if, it, if you've had some functionality to do that and also with some um, cascade and style sheets. So I'll go to the file menu and I'll go export project now I'm going to just export it into my um, uh, site folder. So it's block site and I'll just click save and it'll export it. Now if I just close this down, I go to my block site. Um, here were all, all my images in the, that's the actual block um, app document that contains everything in here and this is what it's generated um, the the my site folder and inside here all the images that i've used it's brought them in so i've got my favicon i've got my um, images that i've included on my page it's got the um, cascade and style sheets this one is the bootstrap style sheet which has got absolutely everything in it these are the ones that I've had to do with the um, fonts I've used, which are the awesome fonts, icon fonts. It's got uh, some JavaScript files that have been put in there. And if you've used any fonts, um, they'll be also included in the font folder. And also it'll have a style sheet. Now the style sheet will be what you've created. And if I can just come down here, we can, I'll just open boot up brackets so you can actually see what the style sheet it creates. Here's the style sheet that it's created. Um, so that's all the style sheet that's made that work for my site there. If I drag in this index folder as well, you can have a look at the um, site on there. I'll just say no split. So this is the code it generates. Everything it's you know it's got things marked out on there, um, so it's quite easy to find the structure. It's quite nicely laid out. Um, so there you go. So that's the actual code that it's generated. Now what I can do with that is I could come along and I could get it to open up in Chrome. It boots up. Here it is in the um, in Chrome and when I bring it in you'll see it will be responsive it'll come along there uh, you'll see it's now got the little hamburger icon if I had other links in there they would appear on there 
Uh, I'll sort of go up here and you've got all that sorts of stuff for mobile and then we'll crag it out and it has some responsive elements on it too. So there you go. So that was quite simple and you could just upload that and put that on a web server and it would work like that and also, you know, it would work quite well, certainly on a phone or a device as well.